Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to find out the quantities of cement, sand and aggregate for an RCC column. Let's suppose that this is any RCC column and this RCC column is made up of M20 grade concrete which has the compressive strength of 20 megapascal and the dimension of the RCC column is given to us it is a height of 12 meter and the other dimension are 300 millimeter and 300 millimeter so it is a square column also we can see the cross section of this column which is the dimension of 300 mm and 300 mm so we are interested to find out the quantity of cement sand and aggregate for an RCC column so to find out these quantities first of all we have to find out the weight volume of this RCC column so weight volume is equal to the length multiplied by the breadth multiplied by the height of the column so it is equal to the, the width volume the length of the column is 12 meter the breadth is 300 mm or we can say 0.3 meter and the height or the thickness of this column is also 0.3 meter so this is this will be the volume the width volume for this RC column which will be equal to the 1.08 cubic meter so we just multiply the three dimension of this column in order to find out the width volume of the RCC column. Now we are interested to find out the dry volume of this RCC column. To find out the dry volume, we have to multiply this value, width volume, by the 1.54. 1.54 multiplied by the width volume. I will also explain that why we use this 1.5 value factor. So 1.54 multiplied by the width volume which is 1.08. So it comes out to be 1.66 cubic meter. So this is the dry volume of the concrete. Now the question is that why we multiply this width volume by 1.54 in order to get the dry volume. Because in the case of the width volume there is water present inside this RC column and due to this water the volume of the concrete is less because the water absorbed in there some hydration process inside this concrete due to which the volume of the concrete decreases. So if we are interested in finding the dry volume of this RCC column we have to multiply it with the factor and this factor is 1.54. So hope you guys understand that why I multiply this 1.54 because this is the factor that should be multiplied with the width volume in order to find out the dry volume. Now the next step is to find out the mix ratio. The mix ratio for M20, it is known to us that M20 is a mix ratio of 1 ratio 1.5 ratio 3, where 1 shows the cement, 1.5 shows the sand, and 3 shows the aggregate. And adding these three quantities, 1.1, 1, 1 into 1.5 into 3, we got 5.5. So this is the sum of the ratios. Now we need this sum of the ratio. First we are interested to find out the quantity of cement. So to find out the cement quantity, it is equal to the, the quantity of the cement can be found out by formula which is very easy. First we have to know the ratio of the cement which is 1, dividing it by the total ratio which is 5.5, multiplying it with the dry volume which is 1.66. So this is a simple formula used to find out the quantity of cement, sand and aggregate. Similarly, this formula I will use in finding the quantity of sand. So 1 divided by 5.5 multiplying it with the dry volume, we get the cement quantity in the cubic meter of 0 0.30. So this is the quantity of cement. Now we know that the density of the cement is 1440 kilogram per cubic meter. So if you multiply this quantity of the cement with the density we will know the weight of the cement in the unit of kilogram. So the weight of the cement in kilogram weight of the cement is equal to the 0 0.30 multiplying it with the this is in cubic meter multiplying it with the density 1140 kilogram per cubic meter so cubic meter, cubic meter will be cancelled and we got here 
432 kilogram. So this is the weight of the cement in kilogram. Now we also know that one bag of cement, one bag of cement, one bag of cement has 50 kilogram of cement. So to find out the total number of bags used in this column, so it will be equal to 432 is the total kilogram, dividing it by 50, because 50, one bag is 50 kilogram of cement, so we got almost nine bags. So nine bags of cement is being used in this RCC column. Now, how to find out the quantity of the sand? So it's very simple. In the same way, sand is equal to the this ratio, 1.5, dividing by the total quant ratio, which is 5.5, multiplying it with the dry volume, which is 1.66. So we got 0 0.45 cubic meter. So this is the quantity of the sand. Now to find out the weight of sand, we multiply with the density of the sand. The density of the sand is 1450 kilogram per cubic meter. So if you multiply these two quantities, now the weight of the sand will be equal to the 0 0.45 cubic meter multiplying it with 1450 kilogram per cubic meter. So cubic meter, cubic meter will be cancelled. So we got here the weight of the sand is equal to 652.5 kg. So this is the weight of the sand and the unit of the kilogram. Now to find out the aggregate. So similarly again the same formula. The three ratio is used for the aggregate dividing by the total ratio which is 5.5 multiplying it with the dry volume which is 1.66 so we got here 0 0.90 cubic meter now this is the quantity of this aggregate in the unit of cubic meter now we know that the density of the aggregate is 1500 kilogram per cubic meter so the weight of the aggregate will become 0 0.90 multiplying it with the 1500 so we got 1350 kilogram of the aggregate so 1350 kilogram of aggregate is used in this RCC column and 652 kilogram of sand is used and 432 kilogram of cement is used in this RCC column